Okay, we're going to make a quick video on the screw feed and how to do some simple adjustments. Um, so we're going to start out with the unit turned off. If you uh, reach up here when it's turned off, you should be able to move that. Relatively easy. Good way to test to make sure that there's no uh, hang-ups. So I'm going to pull the e-stop button. And when I've done so, the PLC is now rebooting itself. But if you watch the unit up here, once it's, it's rebooted, the unit will home itself. Okay, so the unit's homed itself, and then this green light, uh, we missed it, but it flashed. And after it's done flashing, it turns on and stays on. If there's a fault, the red light will be on. You cycle power, make sure the unit is not stuck manually. If it's stuck, obviously clean out whatever's preventing it from moving, reboot it, and it should clear. So uh, at this point, if we wanted, we could go into uh, test mode. So now the screws are shooting into the back. So I'm going to turn it off. So the unit stopped shut itself off. So again, I'm going to go over here, uh, I'm going to hit power, power's off, I can move this, no problem, but I want to demonstrate something. If you accidentally leave it in the manual on position, and then you repower it, so right now the PLC is rebooting, so if you look up here, it's not moving. And then if you look down here, we don't have a green light. And right now, what's happening is the PLC is trying to process the information. We have told it to home itself, as I showed you previously, but we've also told it to go into manual mode. So, don't do this. And now, it, it's, it's tried to take that data too many times and it can't process it, so it's telling you that there is a fault. But there's nothing mechanically bound up. So, the way to fix this, turn it off. Turn off your, your manual feed, critical that the manual feed is off. Now we can turn it back on. The PLC is rebooting. Once it's rebooted and it's satisfied, it will home itself. And you'll see the green light will flash. Once it's satisfied, it'll stay on green. So that's a common problem. Just want to make sure you understand this has to be off when you reboot it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show the unit if you were to have a jam in the block itself or if one of your sensors had come out of adjustment, how to readjust them very simple and also show you a part of the program how it resets itself so I'm gonna put this aside for now I'm gonna get rid of my screws here so that I can cycle it without having to worry about double feeding anywhere I'm just gonna clear a few of these out so I don't have any Hey, Steve. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, we're going to turn the air off once. And so, that slides back and forth nice and smooth. So, we're just checking to make sure mechanically it's good. If we wanted to take it apart, uh, you don't need tools. You just slide this brass piece over pull that out. This piece comes right out. Clear any any issues. Yeah, I Slide know. Slide it back in. Oops. And then we can put this back in and you'll actually feel it. There's little detents in it and it'll lock in place and the detents line up with the hole, with the holes in the brass. And if it's a little off, it, it's actually not going to hurt anything. 
and then you can check it again make sure it's sliding all right so I'm going to turn the air back on and what's critical right now two things is that you hold on to this because it's going to have a tremendous amount of air coming out of here and I am going to turn off the uh, potentiometer that's this little device here I'll turn that off and the reason why I've turned that off is because I want this to run but without this being connected the screws aren't going to go anywhere so by turning this off the, it won't be feeding us new screws it'll just be going back and forth the bolt feeder won't be giving us more screws so I'm going to turn this on so you can see this is sliding back and forth what's critical is that when this comes to the end that this is lined up perfectly with the hole and uh, this is a, a little bit counterintuitive, but it's actually this sensor that recognizes when the unit is all the way over to the right, and it's this sensor that recognizes it's all the way to the left. And then at the same time, if you look here, this is, like, this is extended at the same time this is set up. And it's, it's been a common problem where somebody has disconnected these and gotten them in backwards. And that can be a big problem. So this is working the way it's supposed to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliberately take a screw here and I'll put it in the back. And you see it, it can't come over. The sensor didn't come on. And that's why the system stopped. So I'm going to turn the air off again, because that happened pretty quick, but if you notice, when I put a screw in here, it will actually make one more shift to unjam the screw. So if the sensor is way off tilt, It'll actually get rid of it. But with that said, if the sensor is too far over, it will actually grab another screw and potentially drop two in there. So the adjustment of these sensors is critical that it only lights up when it's all the way at the very end. And again, to reiterate, this sensor is looking for this shift, this sensor is looking for this shift. So they're opposite. Right, so I'm going to turn it off. I'll put it back on here real quick. While I'm doing that, <clears throat> up here, the way this blower works, the blower that is horizontal is to blow any screws that are standing up. The one that is vertical, if the screw were to get stuck in there like that, and the head were to get sandwiched between two other screws, the head is too low for the horizontal screw, uh, blower to blow it out. So what happens is the vertical blower will tip, will tip the end of the screw up, or down, excuse me, and when it does so, it tips the head up. And it tips it up enough to where the, the horizontal blower will blow it out of the way. So these are critical that they're adjusted correctly. And there is a flow control right here where you can adjust how hard or how much volume of air you're using. You're not controlling the pressure, you're just controlling the volume. But the more volume, the more momentum, and the harder you can blow the screw out of there. But too much air is no good because what will happen is it will disrupt the screws that are laying in the, in the, in the queue here and that too is no good. Um, and while we're talking about the queue, if you've, if you've needed to empty out the screws like I did for this um, to demonstrate the sensors, if you turn the potentiometer back on, so the light's on, you have individual um, buttons here that you can bypass 
the system and you can have the system run on its own without the blowers going. And this is this is obviously something important if you've just uh, run out of screws and you or you're putting in a new kind of screw and you want to you want to get them queued up again correctly. You can press that until you get them up there. <laughs> now, a lot of times in, in in production, guys will turn the potentiometer, which is this little dial here. They turn it up really high. So I'm going to scoop these out of the way. And I'll turn this up. And the assumption is, the faster it's, it's feeding, the more screws you're going to have, and this, that, and the other. That's incorrect. You, you don't want the potentiometer running that fast. You want, ideally, you want the potentiometer to keep up with the demand of screws that you need, but no more than that. Any more than that, all they're going to do is bunch up on each other and, and hang up. So you want it, the, the ideal situation is that it's feeding just enough to keep up with your demand. Now, unfortunately, as the weight of the bowl changes, so if you put in two boxes of screws, it's pretty heavy, the potentiometer may be set to, for an example, seven. As you start using or consuming your screws, it's gonna get lighter and lighter. So seven is actually gonna, is actually gonna be too fast. So either add more screws or slow down the potentiometer to six or six and a half or, or, or five and a half. You, you want to, you wanna, again, you want to keep it to where it's feeding just enough to keep up with your demand. Any more than that, they're going to bunch up and get jammed frequently. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything. So that's it.